All right, today guys, I'm gonna be showing you my favorite cap cans in Rainbow Six Siege. Now this can be just normal cap cans, they can be invisible cap cans, or just plain cap cans that are just gonna catch people off guard every single time they push sight. So I'm just gonna be going around a couple maps and I'm gonna be showing you some disgusting ones, ones that just people will never look at. So first off, I am on border and I have a couple that will just, you know, guarantee to either kill someone or, or do damage. So first one is of course the invisible one on break room and CC. Now, as you can see, you can just pretty much put them on the couch as low as possible and they will glitch through the couch now i've actually heard if you have the elite skin it actually works 10 times better because they glitch in even more so yeah that's the first spot right there perfect it's amazing it used to be on this side of the couch but then they patched it and of course when they patched it it just got flipped to the other side so for the second one ever since they redid border they added these two doorways right here into main hallway and you can actually place cap cans on this main doorway so what i usually like to do is i'll put the two cap cans in cc right there and then i will place another couple cap cans in this hallway because a lot of people come up through east stairs or try to push into offices so what i'll do is i'll place like maybe one right here so I'll place one right there or two or whatever and then on the same exact side on the opposite side of the doorway i'll place another two Nah, yes, I know. If they're coming down the hallway, they're going to look at this cap can and just shoot it and not think that there's going to be any on this doorway. So what they're going to do is when they peek that right there, they're not going to be able to see this one right here. Now, if they're coming from this way, they're going to do the same thing. They're going to see these two right here, and then they're just going to peek offices, and they're going to peek in. And if you have any on this side, they're going to shoot one or the other. You just got to pick which side you want to do, which one you want to place one or two. But yes, just like this. So basically, whatever way they're pushing from, yes, they will shoot the one. But if they come in and they try to peek offices, no matter what, if they go through a doorway and they only shoot one side or one doorway, the other doorway is going to catch them and they're going to get hit by a cap can. So I love placing cap cans on this doorway right here. And for the last spot on border, this one is just a plain cap can. A lot of times people will break through this wall right here and try to rush up main stairs. And most of the time they aren't going to break this glass because this glass will stay there and it will make noise. So what they'll do is they'll just run right through the door. So I usually put two on this doorway right here if I'm defending like downstairs or whatever. And people will always come through this wall right here to try to get into customs and all that and try to push sight so if i'm defending downstairs place two on the uh door right here and then one on the window if they're trying to push yeah, this it's seconds. gonna be a amazing kill every single time so yeah now of course i know a lot of people are gonna be in the comments or whatever saying oh these are just normal cap cans all you gotta do is look for them that's the point cap can is so strong since his update of placing more than one cap can on doors People just, I just feel like they walk right past cap cans, especially late in the rounds. They'll just walk right through doorways without even checking. So I've been just running a lot of cap cans and this has just made me, you know, find different spots. So when we are defending upstairs on Oregon, usually someone or me will run cap can and we will place two cap cans in the closet right where they're trying to get like wall breached. Now for some reason, if you have someone just, you know, standing in this hallway in trophy right here all the time and they try to drone out that closet you can stop them from droning and then just dip back whatever after shooting their drone or whatever and they won't be able to tell if there's something in the closet so usually what they will do is if they know someone's in here and they're trying to get wall they have no drones they'll just sprint into the closet so i will always place at least two cap cans right here to catch them sprinting in there to try to get wall Okay, now I'm on Clubhouse, and I feel like Capcom's best objective in the whole entire game is Church and Arsenal. Just for the fact that every time I defend this, I just feel like it comes down to last second pushes in the round. That's literally what it always comes down to. And cap can is amazing if it's last second pushes in the rounds. So what I will do is usually people will try to get this hatch open and try to get into bikes. So I will always place two cap cans right here. I don't really like placing cap cans on that door just because if they get hatch open, they can shoot it easily. So I will place two cap cans right here because most of the time, if they're pushing site, they are going to push through bike and try to get into church, and they will never look at this if it's late in the round. I will place one on dirt usually just to keep it to where, you know, sound cute. If they are pushing dirt, they're going to probably shoot the cap can if they are coming there. So I usually place one on that doorway. But then I will always place two on blue door. And the reason why is because of this. So in most games on downstairs on Clubhouse, people will make this rotate. And I will just hold this angle right here. So basically, I will stop them from droning and all that. And if they try to push in, I can shoot them. But I can just watch if they shoot the cap cans and know if they're pushing. And late in the round, if someone's in blue, they are just going to sprint through because they're going to be trying to get right here. And if they peek this doorway to get the cap cans, they're going to be dead from that rotate hole because I'm going to be peeking them. So I just feel like this one is really, really good.
I absolutely love running Capcan on this site. So now I am on bank and there is actually two Capcan spots that you can make invisible by the front doors. So they are the two doors entering into lobby. So if you actually place the Capcans low enough on these doors, they will glitch completely through. So as you see, it pretty much takes away half of the Capcan and you can do this on each side. So if you have people pushing from main door and you want to make them stop, you can just easily run this Capcan spot and it will catch people completely off guard. So now I'm on one of my favorite maps and that is Canal. And when it just comes to bottom basement maps, Capcan just is amazing. So if you are in the basement objective, the best places to place your Capcans is probably in the shower and bathroom corridor and all that stuff. So I usually place one right here because a lot of people will try to get in through this door and trench and go all the way in the bathroom and try to sprint down into lockers. So you guys can just place these all over here if you want. And I'll show you another spot on Canal that you guys can place the Capcans on that people walk through all the time but just do not look for Capcans. So if you're running Capcan on downstairs, try to put as many as you guys can in the shower and locker room area. So as a lot of you guys know, I absolutely love this hallway in this map. One, just because I have my pre-placed nitro right here in the bottom of the site. But this right here, people will drone this out and they will just drive right on by, look up behind this cabinet, drone into here and just drone this out and then they think they're good. Most of the time, people will not check for cap cans on this door. So it's always an easy kill if you place two cap cans on the right side because people will just run right through, try to get over here to get hatches and just to get control of this up here so they can fuse, buck or whatever. But if you place two cap cans right there, I'm telling you probably about 70 to 80% of the time, people won't even see them and they'll just run right past them. All right guys, now I'm on cafe and when you guys are running the upstairs objective on cafe, there is a hidden cap can spot. And a lot of times when people are pushing this site, it's probably gonna be at the end of the round because it's just so hard to push the site because it's the top floor objective. So for the hidden spot, you can only unfortunately place this the Capkin spot to make one invisible, so you're just going to be glitching it through the trash bag right here. So if you get as low as possible, it'll pretty much glitch out most of the Capkin. So people will run right through here and try to get into freezer and more than likely will not see that Capkin. Another really good site to run Capkin on is Kitchen and Service, and this is on Coastline. Now I do have a hidden Capkin for this map, but when you guys are running Kitchen and Service, this is a really good site because I place a lot of Capkins around bathroom and a lot of Capkins cans in service so for the hidden one you guys are going to be placing it on this doorway right here but you guys actually can glitch it through this cabinet right here so they can't see it if they're on the door like this well you guys can glitch it through and there's sometimes where you guys can get it perfectly glitched through where none of the black is showing but i like to place one right there and then i will place another one on the other side of this doorway right here so if it blows up it will not get these two cap cans like this and then most of the time i'm placing one on here on this doorway or one on the bathroom doorway right there but I just feel like if they try to push this backside, they're going to have to be looking all over for cap cans. And I usually do get a couple kills every time in one kitchen with cap can. Okay, yes, guys, I do know that, yes, cap can has been out forever. And a lot of people know about certain cap can spots. But I just wanted to show you guys my favorite and a lot of invisible cap cans that I know of. If you guys know of any more or any really good Capkin spots, please let me know down in the comments. This video is more just for beginners and people trying to really learn Capkin well. So by any means, yes, I know these have been around for a very long time, but I just wanted to show you guys my favorite because with Capkin being so strong, I feel like you guys should run him a lot more. But yes, guys, that is all I have for the videos. I uh, thank you guys very much and I appreciate you guys watching the whole video and that's all I really have. So uh, yeah, bye.